Hello guys, welcome back to Card Magic 6. Today I'm going to do a color change tutorial. And it has been a while since I actually did one, which was the snap change, which you saw. Uh, where I took uh, two cards like this. Um, and then I would just do a snap change. Oops, I'll do it like that. So I did a change like that a while back. And now I'm going to do a new color change today. And that is called the... Nick Siriano change. Um, I don't know if he gave a name to this trick, uh, to this color change yet, but I saw his video, <clears throat> and this is a really cool color change. I learned this uh, a while back, and it's actually really, really cool. Uh, big credits to him. You can go watch his tutorial. Keep the, uh, keep it in the link. Keep a link in the description, and so you can go see there. But uh, let's go on to the performance. Okay, so I hope you like that intro I did there. Um, something new that I'm going to be doing to the channel now for color changes and such. Um, or even deck reviews, card tricks, all that. I'm going to have it like basically performed with some music and stuff like that. Uh, bits and scenes here and there. Something like that uh, in the future. In the future, uh, Let me know if you actually like the uh, little intro there. Uh, comment down below for uh, any other upcoming color changes you want to learn or anything like that. I'll post them here on the channel. And, uh, well, let's get on to the tutorial. Alright guys, so here's the tutorial for the color change I did. So the Nick Siriano change is actually uh, a video he released with Alex Pandrea on Pandrea's channel, actually. Uh, that's where I saw it and I learned it. And it's actually a really good uh, color change. And I think uh, everyone should learn this because it it's actually very simple uh, compared to some of the other, uh, other changes. Uh, there's like the um, slip shift, which is by Chris Ramsey. Or color changes like the um, clip, yeah, the clip shift and slip shift. Obviously, uh, those two are really good. So clip shift is another color change. I can't do it uh, very well. I know like the two-handed kind of version. Uh, but anyway, let me just get on to uh, the Soriano change. So the next Soriano change. Here's how it goes. So first off, you do a turnover. Um, basically, how it starts. You wanna just turn over one card. It's literally the top card. Uh, people would think it's a double lift, so that's why this comes into play, where you can bend the card and you kind of turn it over. Yeah, so like that. So it basically tells people that it's just a single card. Uh, even this could be a Magician Fooler, uh, as Suryana also said. Uh, basically, so here's what I would do. So I would, uh, when performing, of course, have my body turn, you know, so I am have my, uh, since I'm right-handed with the deck, I would have my left side facing the audience basically and then of course I would turn over the card and then I would take with two hands uh, sorry with two fingers so my ring and thumb would basically just pinch the corners of the card like this and I would just pick it up like this and display it like this now here's the big moment um, so when this occurs you will be doing this kind of motion with your finger your pinky so you basically just have to do a pull down. That's as simple as it is. You just pull down with your pinky so you can get into this kind of form. So basically how it works, it's just very light pressure. You don't want to make much sound like that because that can be disturbing of course. You want very simple, just one card pull and you want to get it to as far as you can. So about there is good. All right, so once you get this down, It'll be pretty easy. Uh, try and get it so it comes diagonal. Alright, that's an example of what I'm talking about. Because you don't want to do it something where you're pulling with the other fingers and it's going to end up doing something like this. You don't want this. You want it like really to come out 
and come on the side. So something like that. So when you do this, you're going to do this actually when you're bringing this card back. So you, of course, take your top card, you're going to pinch it, you're going to kind of go out. When you come back in is when you do the motion. So I'll kind of like turn it around so you can see the back view of this. So this goes out and then the card comes up like this. And then when coming back, I'm going to use my uh, index and pinky that's holding the other card. I'm going to pinch right there, right about on the edge. And then I'm going to drop the other card that I was holding. And then I'm going to grab my thumb or put my thumb on the card so I can have a good grip. Now during this moment, uh, you can basically then do the color change from here. So you have it here, you want to basically kind of cover it. So you want to have it like this so no one can see it. And then you can just come in and uh, do it like a paintbrush kind of thing or you could do anything. I did one where I just came in and I just did a little wave. So things like that. So I'll basically explain it again. So you have the first card turned over. You pinch it, you can come out. When coming back in, you're going to raise this other card. So when coming back in, raise it up and then you're going to grab it between your index and pinky like that right between these two fingers and then you're gonna drop the five and then now it's because it's pinched here you can grab it with your thumb and then you can just come in and you can do the paintbrush now at fast motion this looks really good I'll put the aid back so at fast motion in fast motion this looks pretty good like you show the card and you come back and then you can do the change right that's how it looks now probably flash there but like you get the idea of how it works so uh, very simple you guys can uh, basically figure out ways on how to do it so obviously you come here you get the card pinched between your fingers now I advise to do it between index and pinky I mean you can do index and middle but it won't hold very well uh, I, that's in my opinion I'm not sure but you can actually do that and then like here when you grab this and you have your thumb here when doing the paint like I do the paintbrush so I just drop it and then come clean like this or you can even do the wave like this or you can even do other things uh, I'm not sure like little something I don't know you can make up something you can even do a dribble like something like where you plop it on top and then dribble it and then that could look really nice as well uh, a little tip I'm gonna give is when you turn over the card right you want your body facing well because I'm right handed I'm gonna have the left side but if you're left handed you can uh, the other way so have your right side face the audience but I would show this card with my left hand all right while the deck is in my right hand and then coming back right I'll grab it of course I get the pinky I drop the five right on the deck and I have this card right here on the tenkai palm kind of style now at this point it's perfect to turn to the audience but you don't want to reveal of course the king so you can turn to the audience have your hand like this and then do that Alright, so that actually looks good because when you're holding this here and you do the change, it's not going to look so great unless you're facing the audience because you're like this and then you do this. Like it's going to look weird. So you'd rather have the five to let them see the five and you can come clean with the king after. Right, so this takes a bit of practice, uh, not too much. It's pretty easy. Like even on uh, Pandrea's channel when Soriano did it for the first time, like the tutorial, Alex actually got it really quickly. So it is an easy trick. Um, as long as you know simple things like um, just doing this move, as long as you know this move and how to get into a tenkai um, kind of palm, like this is not even real tenkai, this is more just like a pinch, but you get the idea. So you can just hold this, grab your thumb, and then do that. Looks really smooth. So, anyway, guys, that was the tutorial. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, definitely comment down below any other kind of color changes if you like the video if you like the intro let me know any feedback uh, I love feedback of course because I want to get this channel kind of going uh, since everyone right now is at quarantine of course uh, I can be making videos probably every week now and that's what I'm probably trying to do I'm gonna get some like color changes some deck reviews because I have a ton of decks I can actually review like I've got all these new decks here like the Mori's Red Wheels Cherry Casino um, Smoke and Mirrors V4 the Orbits, I think the, yeah, the V4 I've had for a while, uh, the David Blaine's also I've had for a while, and then the Knights deck. So these are some of my uh, new decks that I got. 
and the deck I used in the uh, tutorial, of course, of the mints, and also in the intro. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to see any deck reviews, color changes, or card tricks, let me know. I can perform one. I actually have a card trick that I'll be doing, not the next week, but the week after. I'm gonna actually be doing. Uh, I'm gonna. It's actually gonna be called Card Gun. So stay tuned for that. It's actually a pretty good trick. Uh, I just have to, of course, wait because. Uh, well, I'm gonna be just doing a uh, video every week since I've got other things to do um, during the quarantine, of course. But anyway, if you guys like this video, of course, sub like, subscribe, uh, and anyway, I will be. Uh, I'll see you in another video. Bye.